Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlords. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am because I'm very hyped about all of the big changes coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very, very soon in the future. Like, I mean, all of the things that we actually put out yesterday was absolutely insane. If you guys don't already know, basically, Fortnite announced that there was going to be evolving skins, there is going to be respawnable LTMs where you actually die and are able to respawn, there's going to be things like the playground mode, there's just going to be a lot of things added to Fortnite Battle Royale throughout the next couple of weeks that are going to blow everyone's mind and yeah today and over the next couple of days I'm actually gonna be talking about all of these changes very in-depth in multiple videos just so you guys can get a really good gist of what they are how they're gonna work and all of my opinions and especially your guys opinions too I mean if you have an opinion on anything in this video comment it down below uh, but anyway before we do get into today's video guys don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches guides and videos just like this one here today do not miss out on the channel guys I post a lot of Fortnite content and also I even have a V-Bucks giveaway in the description right now. Click on that top link and the best of luck to all of you guys, okay? Uh, so anyway, let's get into this talking about the brand new LTM game mode Playground. I mean, obviously yesterday I covered this and uh, what you're going to see on screen right now is a screenshot of the actual kind of transcript from Fortnite themselves and it says here, Playground LTM version 1. The Playground LTM will load you into the Battle Royale map with some adjusted settings. Battle and build to your heart's content with an extended period of time to roam around the map as well as increased resource generation. All treasure chests and ammo crates will be spawned, try dropping in different spots and scope out the loot. Friendly fire is also on so you can skir skirmish with, with your squad up to 4 friends per match. But fear not, you'll respawn immediately. Oh, and loads of llamas. It also then goes on to say that, note, stats and challenges will not be tracked in that game mode. And also, it kind of represents that they want to build a creative mode in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, for example, you know, when you think of this, I immediately personally think of... Uh, something along the lines of Minecraft, you know, obviously you had survival mode on Minecraft and then you also had creative mode where you were free to actually let your creative juices take place, build to your heart's content, battle to your heart's content and respawn to your heart's content. This is very, very interesting and I'm actually wanting to talk about this right now and give my opinions on what I think would be really good for this game mode and what I genuinely think is going to happen with this game mode. So first off, I think it's gonna stick. I think that this game mode right here will be available for a long time coming now. I genuinely don't think that it's only gonna be for a couple of weeks or anything like that. I feel like maybe the first time they allow people to play on it, they will take it away a week later because they need to fix it about and everything. But I genuinely feel like the 50v50 game mode, which is now being kept in Fortnite Battle Royale always, that the Playground LTM is going to be a game mode exactly like that, where anytime Anywhere you want, you're able to just say, you know what, I want to play some Playground, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to build. Uh, so, very interesting stuff indeed, and uh, I just kind of want to take it back to the first kind of paragraph that they wrote, where they said that you will load into the Battle Royale map with some adjusted settings. Now, this is actually going to be pretty cool. I basically think what they mean by adjusted settings is that when you spawn in, you will most likely have, I think, all of your health, all of your shields. You may even also start off with resources so that you don't have to actually pickaxe and uh, mine everything away because honestly this is not a game mode where you actually have to kill people. You know the whole point of it is just to kind of have fun, create, explore and just mess around and do whatever you want. So genuinely I feel like maybe they're going to make some big changes to this where maybe you have 200 he uh, health, you know, such as like 100 shield, 100 health. You start off with 500 wood, 500 brick, 500 metal, and you also may start off with a weapon or two also. That would be really cool if they did that. Uh, but again, if they don't, it would still be really, really cool. The next thing I really want to talk about is that it has an extended period of time to roam around the map. Now, this to me seems like the, the actual uh, zone itself, so the storm that normally comes in pretty fast on the game mode, it uh, will basically be slowed down quite a lot so that you can just mess around, you know, you can do this, that, and the other. But I don't know how this is going to work with respawnability. Like, obviously, you're able to respawn in this game mode. So what happens when the storm's really small? There's 100 players in the game and everyone... Like, for example, dies out in a storm. Would they all spawn inside a tiny little circle on top of each other or something? 
or would they spawn from the battle bus falling down? I don't know, but I am very excited to find out. Also, another thing that we have to take away from this is that basically all treasure chests and ammo crates will be spawned. So basically every single place where you have seen loot in this game will now have loot there 100% of the time. There's no different way about it. There's 100% always going to be a weapon on the floor or ammo or brick or wood or whatever else. There's always going to be something for you right there and then. So it's really interesting. I really like the way they've done that, to be honest. And yeah, I'm actually now a little bit confused about how will they do the airdrops. They didn't say anything about that, but they did actually say about the llamas, which is going to be, there's going to be lots of llamas. So presumably... There's gonna be more than three llamas, obviously. So I'm thinking around about 20 llamas per game or something like that all around the map so people can just kind of uh, open them up or something. I mean, heck, I would even be happy if there was 50 llamas. Like, I would love if everywhere I looked, there was a llama just standing there. I think that would be really, really funny. And you'd get some really cool screenshots from that game mode. I, I really do like that. Uh, another thing here is respawns. I mean, we haven't really talked about it in today's video, but this is going to be the first time that Fortnite has enabled respawns in their game. And uh, for those of you who keep up with this kind of news, around about... Let's say around about a month ago, one of the Fortnite developers actually said something along the lines of this. So we've been testing out a couple of game modes where we can respawn and we really like what we're doing with that. We basically want to allow players to have game modes where there will be more than just one kill, like one death, you know? So basically, once they die, they can respawn. And it seems like this is going to be the first one of those where it's actually implemented. I mean, other things such as team death matches or war mode, similar to player unknown's Battlegrounds as game mode, it may actually be coming in the future if this turns out better than they expect. So very interesting indeed. It just seems like this game is always getting better. I mean, when you think that Fortnite has hit the tippity top of the mountain, they build bridges to a bigger mountain. And it's it's crazy. It's absolutely insane what they do with this game. They're cons consistently always making better expectations that we have to set for ourselves. Uh, so I'm really happy about that whole respawn thing. And also the fact that you're able to now friendly fire against your friends. Now... Again, this is kind of what making me think that you won't spawn in a battle bus. Maybe you will spawn somewhere on the floor or, you know, somewhere a little bit lower than the battle bus. So, for example, you know, maybe the battle bus isn't all the way up in the sky anymore. Maybe it's kind of like a little bit down. Maybe it's like halfway down, it'll drop you. So that it's kind of like an instantly get down, start creating, start building, start shooting, whatever you want. So that again is another really awesome thing that I think would be really cool for this. I mean, imagine if that happened. Imagine if a battle bus spawned in every time someone died. So basically, <laughs> all I can imagine myself is right now building a huge ramp up into the sky, waiting for someone to die, and then trying to jump on their battle bus once it's actually coming past. That would blow my mind, and I would really, really love that. And not only that, but I would love if they would actually allow you to build over to the spawn island once you spawn in. I think that is definitely something that this game mode needs, because people are curious about what actually happens over there. And maybe there could be, like, a big Easter egg or something like that. You know, maybe there's, like, a, a statue of something, or... I, I don't know, but, you know, you kind of get the gist of where I'm going here. I'm letting my creative juices kind of take over. I'm, I'm you know, I'm... I'm wanting a lot out of this game mode. Um, and also, I guess, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We've covered pretty much every little point that they actually offered those, besides from the resource generation. Now, if you guys don't already know what that means, it basically means that once you pickaxe a tree or a brick or something like that, that tree, brick, or whatever will most likely spawn back around about 15, 20 seconds later. So there's always going to be an unlimited amount of resource around the map. And on top of that, we've got llamas. So that's insane. Like, you know, as soon as you spawn in, you could probably see two llamas right away, which gets you, you know, 999, 999. But I don't know. I would really love it if they made it unlimited, but I understand that, you know, they still want people to use the pickaxes. And if they did make it unlimited, it might get a little bit too laggy, you know? Obviously, this is going to be the first version of this game mode, and I feel like it is going to be laggy, especially on some of the other devices, such as, you know, mobile devices, maybe even consoles at one point. I mean, maybe consoles might have a little bit of frame rate lag when this game mode comes out. I hope not, but, you know, we have to kind of expect these kind of things when they're testing these out 
for the first time. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that we went over everything about the Playground LTM. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, guys, and tell me, shut up, phone, what the best thing is about this Playground LTM is for you personally as a player of this game. Is it the fact that you're able to practice building? Is it the fact that you can just mess around and do crazy crap in the game? For me, it's doing crazy stuff in the game. I'm gonna do a couple of Mistbusters episodes and maybe even a little tiny bit of build videos every now and then when I can be bothered. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.